Good afternoon, students. Welcome to Scholars Universal School online class. And the subject we are taking today is basic technology. Another basic technology topic we'll be discussing is basic electronic devices. Under this topic, um, the contents will be treating uh, as follows. Number one, basic electronic devices. And number two, the types of basic electronic dev devices we have, ranging from resistors, transistors, transformers, inductors, capacitors, circuit breakers, and integrated circuits. Um, firstly, we we'll define it what basic electronic devices are. And basic electronic devices are the devices which emit and control the movement of electrons in a desirable manner used in generation of electronic appliances. Most or all of the electronic appliances we have in our homes, ranging from our television sets, our laptops, our monitor, they are both have, they all have a board with their tiny, tiny devices. Those devices are known as the basic electronic devices. And on that board, the devices we have are what I'm about to discuss. Types of basic electronic devices. Number one, resistors. Number two, transistors. Number three, transformers. Number four, inductors. Number five, capacitors. Number six, circuit breakers. And number seven, integrated circuits, also known as the IC. This picture is just um, a picture displaying most of, let's, most of the electronic devices we have on a complete board. The first one we'll be discussing are resistors. I said a resistor from its name, from the English name, from our dictionary meaning of resist. It simply means to go against or to oppose something. So a resistor in an electronic device is an electronic device that opposes or resists the free flow of electricity in a circuit. The function of the resistor is to like, is to like go against the flow of electricity in a circuit. It resists, it goes against, it opposes it. And they are graded based on the amount of power they can handle without exploding. We have the 100 ohms resistor, the 1k ohms resistor, and their resistance value, they are graded based on the amount of power they can handle without exploding and their resistance value. The resistance of resistor is measured in ohms. Ohms, as we have here, this is the uh, symbol for ohms. And it's playing opposite in front of us now are diagrams or pictures of resistors with different colors, different power, and different resistances. These are resistors, and they are mostly found in an electronic circuit. The next device we'll be talking about are transistors. And transistors are a three-terminal semiconductor device, and they are used to regulate current or to amplify or boost an output signal into a greater output signal. The function of transistor uh, basically is to boost or to amplify the signal inputted inside a circuit into a greater output signal. And as we have said earlier, that it is a three terminal semiconductor device. And it's also clearly shown in our picture here that it has three terminals, which are the base, the collector, and the emitter. The next circuit, the next device we'll be talking about now is the Transformers are the transformers. I say transformers are built with two coils of wire, the primary and the secondary, and they are used to either step up or step down electrical power. At this when you need to step up the electrical power in a circuit, you make use of a step up transformer, and when you need to reduce the uh, input power, you make use of a step down transformer. And opposite, uh, in front of us now is a picture of a transformer. And we, have, we can see the coil from the primary side, the secondary side, and it's mostly found, this kind of channel is mostly found in our circuit board. The next device we'll be talking about now is or are the inductors. Inductors. And inductors is used to store energy in form of magnetic field. This um, device stores energy, but it does not store in form of electricity, it stores in the form of magnetic field. When current, when current passes through the inductor, a magnetic field is created around it. That is, it has stored the electric current that passed through it and it has uh, converted it into, an electric, into a magnetic field. The picture of the inductor is what we have in front of us right now. It is a coil 
and it stores a magnetic field when electrical current is passed through it. The next device we'll be discussing now are the capacitors. This component stores electric charge temporarily. A capacitor allows delay to occur in circuits, and its capacity is measured in microfarads. What capacitors are used for is that they are used to store electrical charge for little time temp on a temporary basis. It does not store for a long time. It just stores for a, and it releases it almost immediately. It allows delay to occur in, to occur in circuits. That is when the switch is put on, is the capacitor that will um, delay the current from getting to the to the circuit immediately. And it is measured in micro farads, as is shown that in front of us. And what we have right now are the pictures of capacitors of different sizes, different power size, and and different different farads. And the next device we're talking about now is the circuit breaker. Circuit breaker is an automatic device that stops the flow of current in an electric circuit as a safety measure. Most of us are familiar with what the circuit breaker is as it is found in our generator set, even in our homes. And the function is that once the electric power that is coming is greater than the one the circuit can carry, the circuit breaker automatically switch, switches off on its own to avoid the current from getting to the circuit by burning the circuit. So it is used as a safety measure and it is used to prevent overloading in an electric circuit. Displaying now are the pictures of electrical cells, integrated circuits of different sizes. We have the one phase, the two phase, and the three phase. They are used to prevent overloading in electrical circuits. And the next one we're talking about is the integrated circuit or the IC. An integrated circuit or an IC is a small chip that houses all other electrical components in the circuit. The components we've mentioned earlier range from the resistor, the capacitor, inductors, transformers, the, uh, the inductors, transformers, transistors. They are all soldered and placed on the integrated circuit. It is the integrated circuit that houses and holds all the electrical components together in the circuit to perform their, to enable them to perform their functions as expected. That is that on electrical and electronic devices. But just on a brief summary, the electronic devices we have, I will discuss about are the resistors, which I said opposes the flow of electricity, the transistors, which amplifies the input signal to greater output signal, the transformers, which are used to step up or step down electrical power, the inductors, which are used to store energy or in form of a magnetic field, the capacitors, which are which stores electrical charge temporarily, and we have the circuit breaker, which I said is used to prevent overloading, which it breaks automatically when um, the current is greater than the circuit is coming into it, and lastly the integrated circuit, which is not the IC, is the motherboard of the electrical circuit. It houses the components from the transistors, the resistor, and all of that components. Thank you for joining us on today's online class. Stay safe, stay at home, and have a nice day.